putting these in and then fixing these on the inside. This is the loudest crack of thunder. Just love making work for yourself, don't ya? You can go easy or that can be hard. Another day in the life of Catalpa. He went to the shop and bought all the through holes, skin fittings. I don't know what to call them. Valves, whatever they are. Anyway, he's got them all and we're gonna go put them in. And he's gonna explain everything to you guys because I don't know what's happening. So this is what we've gone with. Uh, Groco, apparently a very good valve. So this will be on the inside. These are our valves that we're replacing and these are the skin fittings. So I've just got them taped up at the moment because it makes it a little bit easier when we silicon it all up. You don't need to. It just I find it just easier when you're working with sealants and that. Put that on and we can do our sealant work and then we can remove all the tape. Not that we have to be very tidy under here. It is under the water, but it just makes it easier. So that's going to be our process throughout all that. Uh, putting these in and then fixing these on the inside, which will be another process with some tape and sealants around all these joints. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a teamwork. Sarah will be on the outside. I don't actually have the step wrench, which looks like this, but Sarah will be putting in a spanner in here, which does the same job. So we're going to put the sealant around this and uh, pretty much tighten this up from the inside and then run our finger around and get a nice bead of sealant around the outside. Tighten it up, put the valves on on the inside, job done. There is a lot of tight little spots where these are, so it is a bit challenging. But, um, you made that sound way easier than what it actually is Always sounds be. easier, but anything with boats, is, or this boat especially, it should be. It should be pretty good. No surprises? No surprises. Prior to this, we've actually gone through and set the whole boat up um, and done a dry fit before we use any sealants and made sure that everything works, everything's aligned, everything works out. Um, which it does in this case, so we're ready to put these valves in. Alright, so all our fittings inside the boat from our valves will be taped and glued. So I'm using a Loctite. Depending on how coarse your threads are and how thick your tape is, you can sort of work out how many goes around that you want to do. I generally go around about 10 times, feel it needs a little bit more or less, go from there. And so on, I'll tape and glue the rest of them. That's what he's going to do for all the valves. That's it. We're only going to show you that one. Run to the second one. I think I've got a storm coming. Seasons are changing. It's definitely a storm. Just started pouring rain, bit of a storm, definitely change of seasons. Um, looks like we'll probably get three holes done today. Wet. the loudest crack of 
loudest crack of thunder. So loud. Whoa, did you see that flash? I don't think I'm close enough, but there's a lizard. A monitor lizard just there. Thought he was going to walk straight past me, but he seems to have stopped. Oh, maybe he's coming. Looks like a big goanna for any of those people who are from the land down under. No, oh, he's not. He's leaving. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thought I was going to have a little nature moment, but no, missed it. It's a lovely afternoon to do some silicon work. <laughs> it rained for months. Pull out the silicon gun and look what happens. <laughs> Trying to seal our boat and it starts uh, raining from the heavens. It's a good excuse to have a beer. I was actually getting pretty hot and thirsty. Oh, isn't that nice? Cheers, honey. All right, guys, so it's a beautiful day today. Yesterday we got rained out. We got three of our skin fittings and valves in, and uh, we're on to number four. Let's get to it. Oh, not a good spot. <laughs> Sink comes out. Still looking up number four. It's a beautiful day here, guys. Sunshine, blue sky. <laughs> and sink water splashing all over us. So we just had our temperatures taken. It's a daily occurrence. They come around and take our temperature. Um, I think Lee was the coolest today. It's the temperature was 32. Really hot. I think there's meters out. <laughs> I'm like sweating and in the, I'm in the degrees. engine compartment. Yeah, I think you have been in trouble if you were 32. All right, here we go. Number five. Nicely done. Putting it in nice and slow. Taking his time, making sure everything's sealed because if this leaks, we're screwed. <laughs> no pressure. Righto. Righto. Now it's up to me. <laughs> what do I hold it with? The spinner. Where's the? the... Oh, I got it. Do you want me to hold that? Can you hold it. Woo! Two more to go. All right. So we just done the fifth one. It's in the in the engine bay we just we finished it and Lee was putting all the valves on and everything it was aimed all good but um, once he put the valve on he realized there wasn't much room so he's decided he wasn't sure and he's decided he's gonna pull it out so that means we're gonna have to start again all right so we got it out we now have to clean all this stuff out clean this up and uh, start again So it wasn't too bad. We've pulled it out, cleaned it up again. Just got to put it back in. 
Yeah. What's the reason we pulled it out again for? Well, I've only got five mil clearance or three mil clearance between where the elbow is and the uh, heat exchange manifold. I'm just concerned about the engine. If there's any movement, that it puts pressure on the valve. So, so. one about ten mil clearance, not three between the engine, just in case it moves, vibrates, just something happens and puts pressure on it. So I've cleaned it all up again. Round two, I'm gonna try and cut this down another 10 mil, give us a little bit more room. So I think these valves are slightly bigger than the um, original valves that were in here. Number five, take two. So he's gonna cut a little bit off the end of the skin fitting so he's got a little bit more room in the engine bay. Right? Yep. Hold that there so it doesn't dip in. It's in my hand. Yep. There's my 10 mil tolerance I want to gain. So he's filed it down nicely. It's all ready to go. Let's hope this one works. I've got to line this line up with the line down below. Hard stand life. <laughs> the ladder, the struggle is real. Yeah. What hole are we on? Still five? Yeah. Probably didn't have to do this, but... Yeah. Just... Peace of mind, baby. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. mind. You got one job, Sarah. Line up that line. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> no room for anything. He says, I have to. I said, well, what if I try really hard and that doesn't work and that doesn't line up? He said, no, you have to. Okay, so my job was to keep this line lined up with this and I think I did all right. I'm gonna take the tape off, so I just wanted to show Lee that I, it is lined up. So I'll, uh, I can take off the tape now. Thank God that one's done. I'll go inside and see how it went on the inside. All right, what happened here? Does it go all right on the inside? You just broke something. No. I just broke a stud. Oh my god. <sighs> That's another day. Is it fixable? Well, it's fixable, but it's an old stud. Um, That's a stud. Other than you, I can see a big stud. It was just my last little, I was just working my way, way around doing the last little tweak up on it and it went and just snapped. So I don't know how we're going to get that stud out. They can go easy or they can be hard. How getting it out. Go? Getting it out. Yeah, the fitting's fine. What, what were you like, doing over there? I'd have to go on and I'll have to get that on. Uh, anyway, meanwhile. That lovely little valve. Yeah, so this was like three mil clearance. Now there's 10 and I can't do any more than that. That's pretty much, there's nothing left. No more play. It's not coming out again anyway. I'll give you that hot tip. <sighs> oh, that's a real shame that, because that's going to be a real hard job to, easy or hard, could go either way, removing a stud. Just love making work for yourself, don't you? Oh, you're going to close that and that'll be done in there. Yeah, I was just, that's done. Mm. I just had another job. Three bolts hold the heat exchange on. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure it's done it before. All the exhaust manifolds, I should say. Oh well. Another day in the life of Catalpa. <laughs> Nothing else to do, so we might as well make some more jobs. So Lee's going to leave that little mishap that just happened in the engine bay till another day. We've got two more through holes or two more skin fittings to put in, and uh, these are in our aft cabin. Let's do it and get it done! A 
Sen vete Norin. Number six is done. Last one, baby. What you doing, baby? Doing all the dirty work as usual. Mm, you're doing a good job there. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Nice to feel appreciated. I don't really feel what you were doing inside. I don't think you were doing anything. No. <laughs> She's a funny one, this one. What were you even doing in there? Just sitting there having a beer? While I'm out here working? Matter of fact. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's so I'll keep working. I'll take one for the team. Finished. All finished. Well, that's it, guys. That's number seven, the last through hole, last skin fittings in. We completed. As you can see, I've had a bit of a rough day. <laughs> Did some hard work today, and my beautiful man is uh, giving you a massage while I cook dinner. Grabbed a spinner, so. <laughs> She's blaming it on the spinner, but anyway. I hurt my shoulder. It's been real lovely. So, um, we got all our valves in. We had a pretty productive day. And yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner. I'm making eggplant schnitzels. I hope you're getting the same treatment at home as well. If you're not, go hit up your partner. It's just the rules. Whoever's cooking gets a massage. It's a great rule. It's usually me, but anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a bug. All right, love you guys. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see every time a new video comes out, then you can press the little notification bell. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, press the thumbs up. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Go again, touch. <laughs> Just continue on. <laughs> Just continue on. Bye. Bye.